Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm finally doing a vlog about meal prepping for lunch. This is a highly requested video. So I'm going to walk you through my meal prep, which starts with grocery shopping on my day off and then prepping for the week. Uh, and so I'll walk you through all of it, including our grocery store run. And then when I get home, what I do with my groceries and how I meal prep um, my lunch salads, which you guys have seen me eat basically for the last couple of years. And so, let's get started the first step is always grocery shopping of course go to stores are trader joe's and whole foods trader joe's is really great for affordable organic products and they also have a ton of things that i'm just super used to because i used to go grocery shopping at trader joe's in california and then new york and now boston and so they're very consistent i love their stuff and they have great options for like dressing and all of that stuff so i'll show you guys what i pick up from trader joe's and then whole foods um, is just super convenient for us because it's nearby and we pick up a couple of things that we don't usually find at Trader Joe's and so I will walk you through all of it and it's gonna be a fun day so let's go okay so at Trader Joe's it's pretty early so not a lot of people here I happen to find myself in the bread aisle and that's very very dangerous you guys because I love bread I love carbs and I love all the little cakes and desserts that they have in this aisle I'll show you here oh my goodness this stuff is so good and very dangerous so i better get back to the uh veggie and fruit aisles lots of lime all right so we just successfully finished trader joe's now we are headed to whole foods to get a few things okay so we just got to whole foods and even though we're here early there is still a line that we have to stand in i'm really glad that stores are still being safe you have to wear a mask to go in and they also clean all the parts so that's really great but yay it's our line it's our turn to go in so we made it All right, our grocery shopping is officially done. We spent about 30 minutes at Trader Joe's and 10 minutes at Whole Foods. The key to meal prepping and being able to do it um, without feeling like your whole day off is wasted making food is to just be organized and know exactly what you're going to do. And so I'm all about efficiency, minimizing the dishes that I have to do and just keeping everything organized so that I can do it in a timely fashion. All right, you guys, so we made it back from the grocery store. I put everything away in the fridge and now it's time to finally start meal prepping. So I'm going to be making salads for my lunches. I will walk you through my whole process. Um, one of the most important things that I wanna talk about for your salads, in order to be able to meal prep salads that aren't gonna wilt throughout the week. Um, so I usually make my salads on Sundays and they will last me all throughout the week. So they'll last, last me Monday through Friday. And the way that I keep them nice and fresh is by using a base that is not going to wilt. So as much as I love mixed greens, the um, arugula in there, the, sp the spinach in there, all of those wilt very, very quickly and then they make the whole salad go bad. And so I don't use those ever during my meal preps. I save those for just fresh daily salads if I ever wanna make one. Um, really great bases for your salads are kale. Kale doesn't wilt very easily, which makes a great salad base for a meal prep and also coleslaw as well. I've shown you guys how I've used coleslaw um, today. I'm gonna be using this kale mix. Um, this is one that I always grab from Trader Joe's. It's organic, it's affordable, and it's already cut, and it's triple wash, so you don't even have to worry about that because the other way to make sure that your salad stays nice and fresh is all the ingredients that you put in there have to be nice and dry. If you start putting a ton of wet ingredients, by the time you get to the salad, like on Thursday, you'll open it up and it'll be all wet and wilty and it won't be very good. The protein source that I'm gonna put um, into my salad today is two different protein sources. You're gonna laugh at me when I tell you. Um, one of my favorite things to put into a sweet summer salad are these Trader Joe's chicken sausages that I love. It's a sweet apple um, chicken sausage from Trader Joe's. The reason why I think this is funny is because I'm doing this for half the week and then the other half, I'm gonna put my baked tofu in there. And even though I'm not vegetarian, a lot of people are like, why are you eating tofu if you're doing salads with chicken and salads with tofu? Sometimes I'll even put tofu in my chicken salads because I just, I'm not vegetarian, but I do like to reduce my um, meat intake and I love this baked, ready to go tofu. And the first thing that I'll do is use this nice kale base. 
and kale also the other thing about kale that i really like is it lasts a long time in your fridge as well and so you really don't have to worry about it going bad very quickly which is something that i really hate about getting fresh ingredients is how quickly things wilt so because this is triple washed i won't have to wash it and it'll be nice and dry and now I'm going to start putting in all of my different ingredients um, one at a time. And so again, I'm going to use um, some blueberries in two of my salads. So I'll put in some blueberries here. And for my two other salads, because I want to change things up, I'm going to do strawberries. Trust me, you guys, this does make a big difference because if you're having the same exact salad every single day, you'll just get tired of it. So I'll do strawberries. They keep it nice and fresh. So if you are working a long day, you don't go into a food coma afterwards. The other thing I'm gonna add on, I always add on nuts to my salads. Love these honey roasted almonds from Trader Joe's. You could probably get the plain almonds if you wanna make it a little bit healthier. These are um, candied, so they're a little sweeter. But honestly, you're eating a salad for lunch, so why not put some toppings on there that you really love? And then I'm gonna use two different types of crumbled cheeses on top. I love this crumbled goat cheese from Trader Joe's. Perfect for salads. And it's so, so yummy with strawberries. It's like one of my favorite things um, to put on a summer salad with strawberries. So I'll put some cheese on top here. And on weeks that I wanna be super healthy, I might not add cheese. Um, but honestly, I think cheese is really essential for a salad. So I do try to put it most days. Okay, the other thing that I want to incorporate into my salad is um, a, a dried uh, a dried fruit. I love adding dried cran cranberries. These are really good from Trader Joe's. I like the texture of dried fruit is actually really yummy with salads. And I always try to put some sort of bean in my salad because again, it's a high source of protein and you want these salads to be filling. You don't want to eat a salad and then be super hungry right afterwards. So I've already pre-washed these um, and I'll just put some garbanzo beans. Um, I've already pre-prepped my chicken sausage you guys could see here so i'm gonna put some of these in my salad i think i'm gonna put them with the strawberries because i feel like my baked tofu will be better with the blueberries and this is really great because it's really firm tofu so it doesn't fall apart trust me maybe this these ingredients sound a little bit like they don't go but they totally go Finally, for my last trick, again, um, I don't ever put the dressing on the salad because I don't want my salad to wilt. Um, I will take the dressing to work and then um, put it on the salad right before I'm ready to eat it. And so this week I'm gonna try out this pomegranate apple cider vinaigrette from um, Whole Foods. This is only 70 calories per two tablespoons. So this is actually pretty low in calories because most of the dressings are like 120 um, calories per, per uh, two tablespoons. And so um, I try to change up my dressing because again, I don't want to get tired of these salads. One of my favorite dressings is the goddess dressing from Trader Joe's. Sometimes I'll make my own dressing. My favorite will be just olive oil, lemon, salt, pepper, mint, and olive oil. And that makes a really yummy um, dressing as well. I'm gonna taste this one so I can see how it's gonna go with my salads. I have a feeling it's gonna be really good. Pomegranate anything is like so delicious. Mmm, delicious. Exactly what I imagined. It's like sweet and a little bit tangy. Um, but my trick is I always take an old uh, spice jar that's empty um, and then I usually wash it out really good and clean soak it in some water so I can get the wrapper off of it and then I'll fill it with the dressing for the week and the whole bottle will, will basically last me through all five salads I don't like to put a lot of dressing on my salads um, and so basically I'll just pour this in here and that's how I can make sure that I have enough dressing for all of my salads for the week and then they don't spill anywhere. It works so well, look at it, it never spills um, and it works super, super well. So that's my little trick. That's how I take this to work every single day and then make sure that my salads are nice and fresh. So that's it. 
I've put all of my salads together. This is what the beautiful product of my salads are. These are my two strawberry salads that I added the chicken sausage to with the um, goat cheese. And these are my blueberry salads that I added the tofu to with the blue cheese. And so the rest of everything is pretty much the same. And these just look so yummy and delicious and they're super, super filling. And so I think you're gonna enjoy meal prepping if you do it this way and use some of the tips and the tricks that um, I use like taking your dressing with you. One of the other things that I'll do is I'll also take an avocado with me and basically um, use half of it on my salad. This is the only thing that you can't pre-prep and put on your salad. Um, I used to do that, but then by the end of the week, the avocado will be like black. Okay, so that's salad. it. That's my meal prep video. I hope you enjoyed it. I think that this is totally something that you can incorporate into your um, daily schedule by just making sure that you meal prep on one day and being really efficient and that way you can eat healthy and save some money by cooking by yourself at home and so after years of trying this out I think I finally got it down and now um, I make sure that I take my lunches with me almost every single day and it's made a huge difference for my just eating lifestyle and my budgeting and so it's a really really great thing to incorporate um, in your day to day. And so thank you so much for tuning in. Please make sure you subscribe to my channel so you can get first notifications when my videos are released. And don't forget to please comment and like this video and follow me on Instagram for daily posts at 15 blades. Have a great day, you guys. Bye.